Good morning, welcome to our first Tipping Point guided meditation. The first truth to realize is that there is only one God, therefore only one truth. Only God is. Only the one is. There is no other. Just as the only truth of math is its oneness, there is no variation of that one principle of math and therefore, to have the experience of math, we must go to that one truth of math alone. And before we can do that, we must know that there is only one math, therefore, only one truth of math. In the same way, there is only one aerodynamics. And if we wish to have, if we wish to experience in everyday practice, everyday practical ways, the truth, the benefits of, the freedom of aerodynamics, we first have to recognize that there is only one truth of aerodynamics and then go to it, go to and stay on the straight and narrow path of the one truth of aerodynamics. This is the truth of God, the truth of truth. There is only one God, therefore only one truth. And so today, ponder this morning, noon and night. Only one God is. Only one truth is. Only God is. Period. There is no exception to the truth that only God is. Therefore, there is no experience but God. Nowhere. We cannot separate God into an inner versus an outer. We cannot separate experience into an inner versus an outer. There is only one. And that one is infinite and omnipresent and eternal without division, without separation, without difference. This is what to ponder this day. Only God is. Only one truth is. Only Oneness is.
only the one God is. Therefore, only the God principle is. And that principle is absolute. There's no wiggle room in that principle. Just as any principle is absolute. The principle of math is absolute. There's no wiggle room in the principle of math. There is no wiggle room in the principle of aerodynamics. And if we wiggle because we do not yet understand fully the principle, then we discover discord. We experience pain. The pain of the discord of misunderstanding the truth, misunderstanding the principle that is wiggleless, straight and narrow, absolute of math or of aerodynamics or any other principle, inclusive of, and of course, most importantly, of God. The principle of God. The presence, the truth of God is absolute without wiggle room, without variance or variety. Without difference, without lesser. You cannot have a lesser element or aspect of the principle. The principle is the whole of itself or none of itself. And therefore, in God, we first have to understand that God is one. God is the only, and that is one and oneness. There is no lesser. We can't have anything but God. We can't have something other than God and still have God. We cannot have God and humanity. God and earth, God and matter, and still have God. We either have God alone, or we have none of God. And in that case, we are full of the pairs of opposites. With no God at all, visible or tangible to experience. We either have the fullness of aerodynamics or we do not. And if we do not, we cannot take off from the ground. And we certainly cannot keep our planes in the sky. The fullness is required in order to take off and keep our planes in the sky. And the fullness of God is required in order to experience God as our life our every step, our every moment of experience. We have to have the fullness of God in order to experience God as earth. And every aspect, every body, every being, every activity, every place, condition, and amount of earth. As in heaven, so in earth. We have to have heaven. We have to have the wholeness of God. And then we experience heaven as earth. Only God is. Only God is.
Ponder this today, all day, every minute. Or at least, let's say, every moment you can. Take every available minute or moment you can to re-ponder this truth that there is only one God, therefore only one truth. And that truth we have to know and that truth we have to stick with, the straight and narrow path of the one God, the one truth. And then we will quickly find that our life, our world, our body, our entirety is filled with the fruits of freedom, the fruits of life, the fruits of abundance of all form, the fruits of love everywhere about. But those fruits are only available to us, only visible and tangible as reality, as ourselves, as our life, as our world, when we stick on the straight and narrow path where they all are. If we step off that straight and narrow, then we find a barrenness of truth, just as if we step off the straight and narrow path of aerodynamics, we find a barrenness of flight. If we step off the straight and narrow path of math, we find a barrenness of math. Only the one God is, only the one truth is, and that one God and that one truth is what I ponder morning, noon and night. And let me also assure you that as you do this, immediately, your consciousness is open to truth. The fruits are right there and they are fully manifest and demonstrated for you, as you already. And so stay on that straight and narrow path and you are keeping yourself then amongst the fruits of truth and they'll quickly become perfectly visible and tangible in and as your life. Only God is. Only God is. And please know that I am with you morning, noon and night in much silence, lifting, illuminating, keeping you on the straight and narrow. And keeping the visibility of all the fruits of truth right there for you, 24 hours a day. Thank you, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.